The other day I was on eBay and I saw these modules um, going for three dollars a piece for if you bought ten of them. So I decided to take a shot at it. And what these modules are are they are thermal thermal electric modules. Um, they use the Pelche effect to produce electricity from hot and cold, uh, opposites actually from one side and the other. Um, they also do um, they'll produce. Uh, the hot side and the cold side if you add electricity to the, the leads here. Um, and I thought I'd do a few experiments and see exactly what, what I'd get out of it. Um, after all, it's a you know, $3 module and lots of cool things. Apparently, um, they're good for 200,000 hours. So that's, um, you can get a lot of um, eco-friendly electricity for $3 if you buy something like that. Um, what else? Okay, yeah. So this is my module. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've stuck it on a pot. Uh, a cast iron pot uh, just to create a heat sink. Um, so the hot side in this experiment will go into the pot and the cold side will come off the top. Um, what I'm doing is I've actually put some zinc oxide cream between the pot and the module to help sink the heat away. The zinc oxide cream actually is um, this stuff right here and it actually is meant for um, a diaper rash or yeah it's diaper rash cream but it has 40 percent zinc oxide which is kind of interesting um, which like I say is a fantastic thermal um, conductor or it pulls heat away just like you'd expect um, yeah let me just check the heat or the temperature on this pot okay we got about eight degrees Celsius by the way 10 degrees Celsius on this pot um, so I'll throw eight volts into the project and it works up to eight volts and about 1.5 amps if you're curious. Um, about 12 watts. And you can see it's dropping very quickly. Um, what I found is that I, if I, um, I do a good job with the, um, um, the zinc oxide, I can get the, uh, the temperature difference between the hot side and the cold side to about 15, 16, um, degrees. And right now it's about 13 degree difference. Uh, it, um, it's about 14 I guess. But yeah, yeah um, you can see that the top side now is sub-zero temperature. Um, and we have about a 4, 15 degree difference. Yeah, something like that. Anyhow, that's, um, that's how that side works. I'm just going to uh, Try the other half of the experiment where I pull electricity out of the module. Okay, so this is my wood burning fireplace, and I'm going to set my pot on top of it, the one with the, the thermal electric um, module underneath it, and we'll see what happens with the difference between about um, 93 degrees Celsius and so there's a 90 degree difference between the, the two sides of this module. And what I've done is I put a little 5 ohm resistor parallel to the module so I can know the wattage or the power coming out. Um, and of course attached to my voltmeter which has a light. Let me just put down my uh, poor little thermal IR reader. Okay, so right now it's just like tenth of a volt on there. So what do we got here? Okay. 1.5 volts over over a 5 ohm resistor. Oops, I'll just put it on the ground. Yeah, so that was a 5 ohm resistor right there. I don't know if you can read that. Um, so that worked out to about uh, somewhere just over half a watt. And this here is what got me interested in the whole thing. This is a, a little fan that, that is um, blowing wind around the, the place and it, it works on the Pelche effect as well. It has a little thermoelectric module in there that's producing electricity from the heat from the fireplace and the coolness of the fans on top. And that's, uh, well, that's like a $120 item. <laughs> I 
Uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to see if I can figure out how to build one out of my little uh, $3 module down there. So maybe that'll be another experiment.